Welcome to the second EnView Composer tutorial. First, open EnView. If the screen tip dialog box comes up, please close it now. Now we need to open up our COM template page. To do that, we can select Open on the Composition toolbar or File and Open File. Once here, you can find the folder that you have your website in. COM 201 course is my folder. Then we all created a last name underscore com underscore 201 underscore site folder. Inside this folder we should have our template page and also an images folder that we created in the last tutorial. Let's open up the template page. Select open. Here's our template page with our table. It's now time to add some different elements and links to our table. The first element we're going to add is our banner graphic. The banner graphic can be downloaded as a resource from the instructor's Moodle page. Once you're downloading this file, a copy should be placed inside the images folder inside our root website folder. Now we can insert this graphic into our top row of our table. Select image on the composition toolbar. From here we can choose the file. once you are inside your COM 201 class folder and then inside your COM 201 site folder you can open into your images folder here you'll see the banner graphic click on the graphic and select open here you'll see a preview of the banner graphic now it's time to add in alt text alt text is an ADA compliance that will allow programs to read the internet to anyone with a disability. It's very important that you always apply alt text to graphics. That way the program will be able to read what the graphic is of. So it's a short description of what this is. For us we can put in IUP COM 201 banner. It's also important to include a period after your alt text. This will help the software reading the image or the alt tag to know when to stop. Select OK. Our graphic is now inserted and you'll notice that the height automatically adjusts to fit our graphic. Now we can link our graphic. By selecting the graphic we can come up here to the composition toolbar and select link. Once you selected link you'll notice that it's the fourth tab over and we could have done this just a moment ago but I wanted to show you how to do it after a graphic has been inserted. By clicking link we now can type in the, the address of the file we have. This is important. It has to be the correct file name. Spelling, spaces, anything else that is done incorrectly will cause for a broken link. The file name we want is index.html. Select OK. Now we can add some hyperlinks that will navigate or help us navigate to different pages. We're going to start using the bottom global navigation bar. The first link we want to put in is home for our home page. We're going to hit a space and then shift and we're going to select the button underneath your backspace button. This will put in a straight up and down symbol called the pipe symbol. Spacing once after that we can start putting in all of our different projects, embedded video, photo gallery, and my choice. Now it's time to actually hyperlink each one of our text. Double click on home. This will select the H to the E in the word home. We don't want to select any of the space around it inadvertently link the wrong thing. Then go up to the composition toolbar and select link. Now this is again where we, it's imperative that we put in the correct spelling of the page. All home pages are referred to as index.html. It's an industry standard that cannot be changed. Now select OK. Repeat this process by double clicking on projects. Selecting link this page is going to be called proj.html. 
proj.html. Select OK. Now we need to highlight embedded video. Because it's two words, if we double click it, it will only select one word. So we're going to select the E in embedded and end at the O in video. Select link. And the page we're going to be linking this one to is called vid.html. Select OK. Repeat this process for photo gallery. Select link. This time we're going to use gallery.html. Select OK. Now select my choice. Select link and put in choice.html. Select OK. Now we can put in our footer information. Selecting in the last or fourth row, we can start putting in that information. The first thing we're going to put in is a way to get in touch with the webmaster, in this case yourself. Put in four suggestions, questions, problems, contact the webmaster. Now double click the word webmaster. We're going to hyperlink this to your email. Up at the top, select link, and in this area, we're going to type in your email address. So you either put in your long email address or your four letters. Notice that you can see a checkbox where the above is an email address. Check that box. This will cause the web browser to open up the default email program. Select OK. Now notice the webmaster is now named. Period, and hit Enter. Now we're going to put in a copyright. Type in copyright. Put in the current year. Type in COM 201 class project. Now we can save. Now it's time to put in our side navigation. To do this, let's do it an easier way. We already have the navigation that's going to be used on all of our pages here. For our template, let's put in every link that we'll need. So select the bottom global navigation bar. Go up to edit on the menu bar and select copy. Notice though that you can hit control C for copy and control V for paste. These are two very easy keyboard shortcuts. You'll notice that the X, the C, and the V are right next to each other for cut, copy, and paste on your keyboard. Select copy. Clicking inside your second row, first column. Now hold control and hit the V key. You'll notice that your links now paste. We need to format these a little differently than we have them here. We don't want them to go horizontally. Instead, we want them to go vertically. So we no longer need the pipe symbols for separation. So we're going to click right next to home, deleting out the spaces and the pipe symbols and hitting enter to put each one of these links on its own line. Now we have all of our links on separate pages. We'll worry about formatting and how they look in the next tutorial. Congratulations, you finished the second tutorial. Make sure you save before closing.